longer it's going to be before we catch up to our major. Yeah, three dots. Tomorrow. Great conversation. What do you guys say? Three more dots. Oh yeah, more conversation. You gonna puke? <laughs> what do you guys say? Oh, you don't got three dots? You you suck. Don't hold me. Oh come on, no. I wanted more three dots. Leviathans, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Arise here on my channel. Now let's get this party started. Don't forget to like button, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Guess I'll talk to you first since you're not an important star on the map. Take some time before we catch up to her, so feel free to go out, stretch your legs, and maybe check out the rest of your crew is doing. Look <coughs> around inside the ship just in case, but I didn't find anything that looked like it might be suspicious. Oh yeah. Thanks, I appreciate it. Is it kind of suspicious you know, that this guy just randomly knew how to uh, drive a boat and was like, "Hey, let's get out of here as is. fast as possible"? When we tore down the wall in Calaglia. I could finally see the horizon in the far off distance. I had the exact same thought. Yeah, somehow the sea is different though. I'm not sure just how to put it. It's almost as if it just goes on forever. It kind of does. I bet my old does. man would have been blown away by this view. Yeah. Ever since he died, because the sea is connected to the ocean, which really then just goes around the and kind of if you keep going, going around, you can just keep going again. around the ocean forever and because heck, there is no maybe end. Maybe I'm just overthinking it all, but still, sometimes I wonder if it could have turned out differently, if there was something I could have done. But no matter how much I play it back, I'm still no closer to finding any answers. Uh, you could have not tried to kill your own father me. and got him caught and Omadria. ended was up that really the right dying. Thing to do? Or did I just end up making things harder for her? I feel like such a screw up. You're not the only one. I keep asking myself what Zephyr would have done had he been here. Like I think, how would Zephyr have handled Rinwell? Yeah, I think he definitely would have stopped her. No doubt about it. And that's exactly what you did, Law. I think he'd be really proud of you. Alfin. Zephyr's not the worst yardstick to measure ourselves against. Let's both do our best to make him proud. Sounds like a deal. Thanks, Alfin. It's not like you really need his permission, but okay. What you doing over oh, here? Goes long enough, and someone might just come along and paint you. Any artist who'd see fit. Oh, I'm already starting. Pay, 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 pay. What no. can you tell me no, about Aldria? Not, really. not as much as you'd probably wish. I only ended up crossing paths with her a handful of times, after I was chosen to be a lord on Lenigus. Ah, oh, right. I almost forgot about Lenigus. How much do you think they know about what's been going on down here? <laughs> It's Probably safe nothing. to assume they know everything. No, Though they know they nothing. Not why they choose to remain uninvolved. Because they don't care. Perhaps they see what's been happening as just part of the ongoing crown contest. Even what Almadria did? Has it really reached the point where her actions are seen as normal? Not to my knowledge, no. At its core, the crown contest is a competition to see who can amass the most astral energy. And to amass such energy, Slaves are needed to collect it from. It's therefore against the Lord's interest to kill them. So then why would Almadria do something like that? We must remember that time is running out in the Crown Contest. Perhaps her hand was forced, so to speak. It is a way to accrue astral energy faster and in larger quantities than through slave labor. Doing so kills off that labor force, obviously. But it is a means to an end, nonetheless. No one could have foreseen that something like the hollowing would arise back when the contest was first conceived. Is becoming the sovereign of Rena really that important to the lords? Of course. It's the greatest prize one can attain in their eyes. In that respect, at least, 
I'm really not that surprised that Almadria resorted to what she did. As utterly despicable as it is. It's reassuring to hear you feel the same way I do. I worry that the only reason I never did anything similar in Menencia was due to my lack of ambition. If you didn't want to be reminded of your past, you could have just plugged your ears. You think too highly of me. I'm afraid I must respectfully disagree. I'm not nearly as virtuous of a person as you might wish to believe. If that's so, would you have been so shaken up when Kisara lost her brother? Why else would you turn your back on your own kind and choose to fight for Megal's dream? Aren't we just Danans? A curious choice of words. Did what you see in Mahog Sar hit you that hard? What Dead Eye did to that city, he didn't liberate anyone. Anyone who refused to follow him was an enemy in his eyes. Three hundred years of Renan rule taught him nothing. What I have come to understand is that the conflict extends beyond Danon versus Renan. There is an internal quarrel as well. I mean to bring about a true, lasting coexistence in Menencia. But there are more walls we must topple first. And you don't think you can pull it off? Well, you seem to think you can, at least. Does that make us enemies? Insofar as an exchange of swordplay, no, it doesn't. Not good enough for you? Are you really... <sighs> Forgive me. I will continue to fight by your side a while longer. That much I have decided. Alright, sorry about that. I'll have to go back after I wa after when I'm editing the video and rewatch that because I have no idea what just happened or what they were talking about because someone has to come in down and, and interrupt me in the middle of the video. It's 2 p.m. where I am right now. I've been up for... about six, seven hours right now. No one's needed to talk to me at all, all day. And as soon as I start making a video, someone comes down and knocks on my door. You don't look so good. No, even though I've told them right? time and time again that the if I, they need me, it text me and ask me if I'm making a How video before they come it? talk to me. How can you even stand? I'm not the best person to ask about discomfort. I can't feel pain, remember? Sometimes I love how I it just always seems like no one actually has. pays attention to anything now, you say to Lord, them anymore now these days. My expectations for Almadria were already pretty low. But the way she treated human lives like they're mere playthings. Yeah. And it wasn't as if the situation in Niaz was improving much to begin with. You mean dead I'm. The whole reason I started fighting back was because of my anger at the atrocities of Renan Rule. Back then, all I had to worry about was fighting the Renans for the sake of the Danans. But then I met Shion and the people of Menencia, and things became a lot more complicated. It's even messier now that we have to worry about Danans like Deadeye. It used to be that the Danans were the ones in the right, and the Renans were the ones in the wrong. Though, maybe that was just a biased perspective from being on the side of the oppressed. Exactly. So everyone has, has a biased the perspective. They only look they look at their side up up above the other side. As you'd expect it to be either. That's clear to me now. That said, even putting aside bad apples like Dead I'm for a moment, you may be able to free the Danon people, but that won't undo three hundred years of oppression. It'll be hard for them to not give in to their resentment. It will. I think It'll take a while. Maybe that's why I clung to our dream so hard back in Menencia. Even if his motivations weren't pure, Dolim has a good heart. He didn't sink to the depths Almadria did. You don't understand. I'm saying that it goes deeper than that. This hierarchy we live in? It's not solely something the Renans invented. I remember a story Rinwell once told me. She said before the Renans invaded, we Danans had our own class system. We are the ones who divided ourselves. I saw it in Dead Eye's eyes. He wanted to rule over others. To hear Bayfon tell it, Dead Eye wasn't always that way. <laughs> but as time went on, and he and the Dark Wings fought the Renans, he eventually changed. I guess what I'm getting at is, if we defeat the Renans but just go back to the way things were before, 
Was there even any point in fighting? Not really. But that world isn't the one you want to create, right? You want a world where Maybe both not. of you guys, friends and enemies, can live together. These days, I'm not so sure that dream is even possible. You have your promise to Megal, though. Your home and the people. Every dream is possible. You just have to actually work hard at it and to, to actually My do brother, that. You can't just be lazy truly and decide to give up on it just because it's not and working suppose, out right away. Even now, many people still do. And then there's you. Who me? You and Xion. <clears throat> I'm not sure I follow. Okay, then let me spell it out for you. How many other Renans and Danans do you know that get on as spectacularly as the two of you? I don't know. No one, not really. Spectacularly. Well, <coughs> I mean, you and really Dolhalim get on pretty well, it, isn't it? I really don't see what you're getting. I think I'm getting seasick again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Can you just give me a wide berth for a few minutes? I think she's gonna be sick, everybody. All right, I'm gonna take a few seconds, real quick. I want to just say to you guys, I've complained about it a couple of times in my videos, but go back and if you go back, I mean, I'm not gonna have you look through all my videos to figure it out, but if you go back in my videos, you'll see that, and more than half of my videos where I have talking in it, uh, at some point I either cut the video at some point for some. It, the, unknown reason or I say afterwards is someone came and interrupted me but you know I have no commentary videos on my channel and then there's days where I don't record and on all of those days where I'm not recording I don't have commentary in my videos the whole entire time I'm playing those games or not playing the games nobody ever comes to my recording my room where I record to bother me but on days where I record almost five to ten minutes after I start recording someone comes downstairs where I record and goes hey let me tell you something that is not important that you don't that you don't need to know this very moment instead of like texting you or something or waiting until you you're done recording I have to tell you this immediately this thing that there's really no importance for me to tell you right now, this moment, this very second. I just wanted to get it off my chest, because I don't know about you. Uh, if you're a uh, content creator or whatnot, let me know if you have problems like this, where the moment you start sh streaming or you start recording a video, that that's the moment when all of a sudden everybody wants to talk to you. Everybody, everybody has to bother you. All right. Or your dog starts barking like crazy for no reason. Alright, let's get on with the show. I didn't mean to activate this cutscene if it will stop Do me from seeing the other Gra person's okay? talking. If you're worried, why don't you ask him yourself? Yeah. I think maybe I should apologize to him too. I should apologize to all of you, really. It's all right. You're going crazy because the person well, that killed your family was standing right in front you of you. This whole time, I was blind to everything except yeah, my own revenge. you didn't really know us that much. The struggles all you, of you might we be haven't really things. been together very long, so you didn't trust us we all with have the complete we story. To keep to ourselves, Rinwell. So what if you had something to hide? It doesn't undo the good that you've done, or the people that you've helped save along the way. Exactly. But that's not what I mean. I know. Why do you always gotta look at them? You're talking about Almadria. Worst right? part of things. Yeah. I hate her, Alfin. I can't stop hating her. We're not asking you to stop Even hating just her. Thinking about her makes my head feel like it's going to explode. I'm just asking you to not let it. But it's not just her. Ruin you. I think Completely. about the way Law looked at me. <clears throat> I hated the Lord who killed my parents. And I hated the Renans I had to travel alongside. And yet, Cislodius Danans backstab each other like it's a normal way of life. And Mahog Sar has people like Deadeye. But then there are people like Law and Shion. 
It's all just too much. I don't know what to think anymore. Just think of everyone as individuals, not Denons and Renans. Long Everybody is different. Had to forgive Almadria. It's only natural you would hate. Just think of people mother. as themselves, not a group. But what? It's not that hard. Law left home because of how much he hated his father. As a result of that, well, I think Law spent a lot of time thinking about how they never got to make things right. <sighs> and if I had to guess, killing Ganabel didn't make any of those feelings go away. Nope. Law let revenge fuel him, and I think now he's afraid you'll do something you'll regret. It said fueled in the in the afraid? wording on the subtitles though. <laughs> Whatever happens to Almadria when this is all over is up to you. I'll respect whatever choice you make. Just think it over carefully for me, okay? You still have time. Okay. <coughs> Thanks, Alfin. No problem. Say, um, back then, after the fight, I think I really made Xion mad. I don't know, though. Maybe it just looked that way. But I guess I just can't seem to understand. Nobody how she really feels. knows how she will understand. Do you know why how she, she gets feels. like that? Shion's. She can be a tough nut to crack. She doesn't really talk a whole lot about herself. <coughs> yeah, she doesn't. It's just what she said about hate being a source of strength. Where did that come from? Her own desires, probably. I wonder how it feels. Not being able to hold another person's hand. <laughs> well, probably very lonely. Oh, what you looking at? Some water? Cool. Cool. <laughs> Lean much further, you'll go overboard. Eh. I mean, you can always jump in the water after her with a giant Keeping amount of armor on you that will make ship. it so that you sink to the bottom and there's no possible way you should be able to swim. I'm looking at the ocean. The ocean? Yeah. The waves. They help me think. This world is filled with natural wonders. Ooh, excuse the me. The icy guys. air and white peaks of Cislodia. The lush green glades of Menencia. The harsh wastes of Calaglia. But Menencia has its lake of death. And Nia's, its ruins. <coughs> Down on the ocean, ocean. And I wouldn't be there so if peaceful. it weren't for that contest. Say we actually managed to put a stop to the crown contest for good. What do you think will happen between the Danans and the Renans then? Hmm. You first. Can only find out. Well, I, I want to believe that the coexistence <coughs> we saw in Menencia can happen elsewhere too. It's just, it's insane for all of us to keep fighting. If Menencia can do it, so can everyone else. Yeah, I think that would be good too. A world where everyone can get along. At least, that's what I've come to believe. You sure have changed. I can't lie to you. Since I was young, I've looked down on the Danans too. Ba -ba -ba. I've seen a lot. And I see things differently now. I've seen so many ugly and terrible things in this world. And yet, they didn't come from just the Danans. And the good things come too. From everything. They didn't come from just the Renans. Kindness and cruelty exist on both sides. A person's race doesn't factor into it. So, 
I guess you're right <coughs> after all, Elfin. I have changed. You know, I've never actually touched another person like this. Oh man. Let's make love. I mean what? <coughs> Ever since I was on Lenegus, I I could touch you some more if you want. Even after I came to Dana. Always. And now? <sighs> Do you still not remember your past? No. Sometimes it feels like I can almost remember, but then this mask stops me. The mask keeps you from remembering why you have the mask in the first place. It's a mm. little ironic, isn't Someone it? Someone did this to you. <laughs> a little. <sighs> well, it won't be long now before you're rid of those thorns, you know? What was that sound for? Only two lords remain. And once you have their master course, you'll be able to create the Renaissance, right? Then you can... That was weird. It was uh, like uh, he was trying to remember something. She on? His brain hurt, and then he sort of reset and started a different conversation. Sorry, it's nothing. Promise. <sighs> You're right, though. It'll all be over soon. I never could have made it this far on my own. I wonder if she's I have everyone to thank for that. Worried that including... after it's all over that you'll leave her, Alpha. Especially you, Alvin. Don't worry about it. We're friends after all. Are we just that? Yeah, we are. That look on her face kinda looked like she was saying, are we only friends? Ship had a better head start than their first thought. If you want to take a nap before things pop off, now's the time. Rest. I'm sure that means that. Do you want to continue the game? Something you're probably going to get in a fight soon. Okay. Look who's up. Good timing. We're closing in on her stern as we speak. That's the ship? She's Whoa, huge. that's huge. Whoa. Yeah. Go gather the others, will you? Think you'll be able to flank them without getting spotted? Yeah, with the fog as our ally, I think I might just pull it off. As long as we ain't too noisy, we should be okay. What'll you do if they catch on to us? Not much I can do. How many ship lives were lost just making that ship? Before we ready cannons. They didn't notice us just pull up on their side like that. What is this? Persistent little things. Evidently, I shouldn't have spared the wretched vermin. Okay, so she did notice us. Okay, she just doesn't care. Or they don't have, like, cannons or something to shoot us down or something. Hungry already, my dear. Another beast? You gotta use another beast against us? Worry not. For you shall have plenty to feast upon shortly. Personally, I really don't understand why we really need to see that scene. But, okay. So I figured she would use another beast against us or anything anyway, Perfect. so... Perfect. You managed to get us right up beside them. I'll stay with the ship so we can leave as soon as you're done. Good. Then let's find Almadria. Good man that we just met and we completely trust. 
Why is this so epic right now? Like, why is they trying to make it seem um, like something amazing is about to happen or something? We'll have to return to your party. Nice. Xion, um, I want to thank you. What brought this on? What you said helped to calm me. Uh, don't mention it. Let's see what this has to say. Now that's what I call a ship. Yeah, yeah. it is pretty nice. Big, the biggest one in ship. all of Mahogsar. So <coughs> big that it took years to construct. And how many lives? We know, Kelsalik may well have been smuggling materials to help build it. In which case it would be yet another mistake on my part. We don't know that she was only getting materials from Menencia. You think it's possible that they might have come from elsewhere too? Yeah, I guess I could see it. But what do you think all major I mean, yeah, to do there are other places. Now that she's abandoned her realm and sailed out to sea. She'll be filling her coffers with gold, most likely. Then she'll sit back and enjoy the show as the other lords duke it out. Or something to that effect, at least. I wouldn't put it past her. She's strong, yet shrewd. And will stoop to any what low. Lords? A dangerous one, indeed. You've already taken out two. Not You're not going to be fighting for the, the crown. So, this is a what a, we're talking there's about, her remember. and... Sounds How like many places were there? Isn't that it? Like there was never anything to decide. No one who can smile like that while doing what she did deserves to roam free. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. This might not be the best time, but if you have a minute. <clears throat> that mask of yours. It was shattered by a blow from Balsef when you fought back in Calaglia, correct? Yeah. Yeah, thanks for the reminder. I thought I was a goner. Balsef's brute strength was in a league all its own. Yet half the mask remains. It's remarkably durable. Too durable to be Danon in origin. Yep. Shion said the same thing. As if the fact I was wearing it meant there had to be more to me than met the eye. You recalled your name when the mask broke, I hear. Yeah, that's right. Although to tell you the truth, I'm a little scared what might happen when I lose the remaining half. You're a mate. You'll remember then, everything. You're not doing something because I'm afraid. Scared. You're the real me. villain. That's why I go on <laughs> fighting. Only he who first faces the night catches a glimpse of the dawn. Come again? It's nothing. Forget I said anything. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to end this video here. I'm looking at the time while I'm creating this video. I actually wasn't paying attention, and I have to go to work soon. So I'm going to end this video here, and we'll take on the ship in the next episode. This will be a video uh, conversation episode, I guess. Uh, scratch my head, bag my head. Going okay. And uh, thanks for watching again. Don't forget that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out my social media down in the description below. I stream Borderlands on Sundays, just so you know. And I also play Horizon Forbidden West. And if you're watching my channel, you can look at my other videos and see what else I play. Uh, I play Tales of Luminaria for a game, and I'll be playing more games in the future. So stick around. I'm going to be around whether you guys watch me or not. And I'll see you later. So saith the Leviathan. For watching, don't forget the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. By the way, you can click the videos above to see more of my content if you would love to. And if you click right over here, you will be able to subscribe to my channel without having to go down and click the subscribe button. Or you can just go down and click the subscribe button as well. And don't forget to hit like button again. Don't forget to go down below the video in my description and check out my social media. Join my Discord, my Facebook, my Twitter to keep yourselves updated on my content. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you later. So sayeth the Leviathan.